Here's a, here's a fun thing that's another faux pas that I just love to see because I know how easy it is to fix, is to clear this, this kickstand, they bent this rod. Mm -hmm. Now, anytime you are applying you know, your strength to stop your bike, it's got to straighten that rod out a yeah. little bit. But now to get you, this is turning into a bunch of flex here because of the bend in the rod. And you want that rod, you want all these rods to be nice and straight so that when you get that that, that uh, lineal pressure on things, it's all going to your brake shoe. All that energy from your hand isn't going into straightening linkage out. And that way you get a lot more firm feel when your uh, brake shoe hits, hits the rim. And you feel a lot better about these brakes. They don't seem so squishy. So it actually still does hit the kickstand. It does. And yeah. what you can do is you can take like a big rat tail file or something and take the kickstand off, put it in your bench vise. And you can file away here and get the clearance yourself. Some SG kickstands, which this is, and I think it's a decent kickstand, have a cast aluminum uh bracket on the top yeah. and uh, you can take those and you can file those a little bit and get them down closer but if, if you take off material right in the middle where the bolt intersects with the center of the bike and the rod uh, you got to shallow that up a little bit but on any of them I've done whether I did it with a file or if I did it on on the mill uh, I've never had one of these fail Sure, you can't totally reef down on the bolt, but I've never had one fail. And uh, another thing you can do to shallow it out is to get uh, to get an indent or a slot on the top of this kickstand that uh, holds inside the uh, the chain stays. Oh, you get what I mean? Yeah. And that will bring it bring up it a up. little bit, and that and that'll keep it from when you put the kickstand down, having the thing wiggle this way and that, yeah. which is something that I, I see a lot on a Raleigh Sports, especially. And of course, when it's doing that, it's it's gouging your frame, and you're you're tightening it and denting it even more, which isn't so much of a problem on these bikes as it is on on uh, Raleigh Sports.